The next tool we're going to look at inside the command section is the scale tool. Now this one will allow you to scale all the visible meshes even if they're on separate retopo mesh layers and it will also allow you to scale whatever you have selected. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've got these two retopo mesh layers if I choose scale and enter a numeric value, let's try one, two, five, just kind of a uniform scale and hit OK. You can see both of those will scale together. So I'll cancel and let's hide the rib plate this time. We'll do the same thing. 125. OK. And then unhide the rib plate and you'll see it was left alone. So now let's go to the select tool and I'll choose faces. We'll go to scale. We'll try, let's say 80%. Let me also mention if you want to scale in an axial fashion, you can or radial. I'll click cancel. You can use scaling this way, but you can also do that with the transform tool by hovering over the widget and clicking on it while hitting the spacebar. So in this case, I want kind of a global scaling. Click hold and then hit the spacebar, and I can do the same thing. 80%. Okay, so that's a quick look at the scale tool here in the command section of the tool panel. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.